Hey everybody, it's Brian uh, from the Witch Doctor series, Advanced Practical Shooting. <clears throat> Today at the range, doing some testing of uh, what's traditionally called neck tension uh, or neck diameter. It's the diameter that you, uh, uh, of the uh, bushing that you put in your sizing die to size the neck portion. Uh, what we ended up doing is uh, we took our 6 PPC out with a 262 neck chamber at 100 yards here was the distance. Uh, we shot in about 45 degree weather, 83% relative humidity, 30.04 barometric pressure. Um, the data tells us that 29.9 of N133 is the charge to use in this type of weather. Uh, we seeded it at about four and a half thousandths jam using the Honestine bullet um, and then our, our bat uh, action, bat nouveau. Um, same barrel and everything else that we do the other testing with. So we, we ran it with a 256 neck bushing. And as you can see over here on the left side, the left side column here was a very windy condition. I uh, wanted to definitely shoot in the wind. And then the right side here, the wind really died down. It became very still. So I thought, okay, I'll go ahead and shoot now. Um, a group in windy condition and a group in not windy condition. Um, as you can see here, the groups differ considerably with that wind condition. And in the non-windy condition, the 256 neck bushing produced a pretty small group there. Um, over here we have the 257 bushing shot a pretty tight group, but it is a little bit wider with more vertical. And the 258 bushing um, kind of got a much wider group there. Um, it's pretty clear 256 is the winner. Uh, it's pretty well understood that um, with N133, you want to have a lot of, of neck uh, tension or you want a sh narrower neck diameter, basically. Um, this test seems to substantiate that idea. Um, the velocities were uh, pretty much the same between both groups. So average about 33.88, 33.92, uh, for the 256 condition, um, small standard deviation there of 7.1. The 257 neck condition, 3391, 33 33.85. So basically the same velocity from 256 to 257 bushing. Here's a 258 bushing produced a 3393 single digit SDs. And again, a 3393 with single digit SDs. So really stable uh, velocity there and standard deviations. Um, but as you can see on the target, the 256 bushing uh, wins. Um, very small difference between 256 and 257, but um, once I get to the calipers to measure this thing, I'm pretty sure the 256 will demonstrate a, a smaller group. So um, velocity is all about the same. I don't really see anything that uh, jumps at me there. So that is the test. Um, definitely uh, the old saying about more neck tension with N133 uh, seems to be true according to this test. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, like, and um, share this video. And please um, leave comments if you can. Thank you.